Oh, hi. Wow, that was uh, a lot of comments on the last video. Really kind of fell into two categories. To the Eritreans, thanks for swinging by and hope you stick around. Uh, to the hooray, you're back people, I would, I would simultaneously say I never left, but also don't get too excited. Like, I've made videos every year for the past decade, except 2020 when there was a pandemic and I moved across the better part of a continent. And have you tried buying a house in this market? Anyway, all the videos are at howtheracewas1.com. Go take a look if you're new here or if you feel like you missed something. But on the other side of that, also don't get too super stoked about me being back at like 2014 levels because no. The point of that volume of work was to show that I could do this sort of thing day in and day out and still kick ass. <laughs> We've been through this. It's probably a self-call, but I like to think I'm pretty good at this. And if that's true, not only is being good at making cycling videos not how you get a job producing broadcast coverage, it's not how you get a job making cycling videos. And yeah, I could do the Patreon bit, but there are a number of things about that that are... Eh. The obvious one is that any reasonable napkin math puts me about an order of magnitude shy of meaningful income. Then there's the bullshit of dealing with YouTube. There's only so many times I can make a facial expression like this or circle random stuff in the background, or just whatever random tweak is the algorithmic hack of the month. Then, you know, there's some legal and ethical stuff. When How the Race Was Won started in 2009, online cycling video was garbage. I mean, there was nothing. You could, if you could even find it, it was barely a recap, no tactics, not interesting, God forbid it even think about having a sense of humor. That's not the case now. We're spoiled for content, especially in recap form. Just look over there or down. What's my mobile device share again? And don't get me wrong, for purposes of both awesomeness and legal defensibility, I've put a ton of work into making sure how the race was won was something to watch, not just for what happened in the race, but because it's its own entity that offered additional levels of analysis and meaning and weird stuff that would, and I think does, make it transformative. But now that mere YouTubers can get actual legit rights to race footage, well, to some race footage, which, by the way, uh, rights holders told me many times and in no unspecific terms would never happen. Now that this can be legit, I do have some qualms about making a classic style how the race was won if I haven't secured the rights. This is why the previous video wasn't how the race was won, Gent Wevelgem, because it, it wasn't. I wanted to dial in on something that, one, I thought was important and fun, two, no one else was really going to mention, and three, that I could do with a relatively small amount of footage from the actual race. And I'll be honest, I expected to catch a little more from the internet hate machine over that. Maybe it's because of how things went when I made videos about a movie one time, but legitimately surprised at your collective stoke. That might just put me in a mood to make some more one-offs like that. Not sure how often, but... And to be clear, there is a great original recipe how the race was won for the 2022 Ghent Wevelgem, and probably for Flanders too. Might still do something with the Flanders stuff. I don't know. I would love to make those, but even aside from footage rights, taking all that video and doing all that work and turning it around in 24 hours, in my IRL world, I am lucky if I can find a single uninterrupted hour to do basic things like shave. Getting 16 of them? Whew. I regularly get asked what it would take to do How the Race Was Won Again, and my answer is always footage rights and a paycheck. So on that note, we're also going to be doing some normal How the Race Was Won's this season, on YouTube even. Not this channel specifically, but over at Cycling Tips, who I've worked with before and who I am psyched to work with again. I'm assuming you all subscribe to them anyway, but if not, what's wrong with you? Go subscribe to them. If you want more How the Race Was Ones, you could do worse than providing your eyeballs to the people who pay for both me and the sweet, sweet footage a proper How the Race Was Won requires. What else could you do? I have a tip jar at coffee, but honestly, some concerted effort on your collective part about recommending me to your weird cycling friends is probably the best way to improve that not-so-awesome napkin math I mentioned earlier. And I, I don't know, I might have some more actionable items to recommend later. I, just, IDK, I'll let me talk to some people. Okay, it's past my bedtime and I still have to edit this, not sure when the next video will be, but subscribing to this channel and also to Cycling Tips almost totally guarantees that you will not miss it whenever it does happen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, and here is uh, a novelty nightlight shaped like an anthropomorphized dumpling in a sauna.